Okay, hello YouTubers. This is a. I just built a quick um, radar using the Arduino and a little 8x8 matrix. Uses a little uh, ultrasonic sensor, the um, HCSR04. I just used that with about 10,000 bytes of code. Very, very simple. Um, if you need, uh, it, it requires two libraries. Um, the sprite and matrix.h and uh, if you need those really easy to put them in just uh, email me or message me and send me your email and I'll email you those uh, libraries though you can put them on your uh, Arduino uh, thing but uh, wow you can't really see that here's the code to insert those libraries and put them in there go to uh, sketch import library Add library, and then um, search the. I mean, browse for the file, and then put it in there. Very very simple. Well, uh, here's the code. I can email you that too if you need it. It's a little lengthy. Very simple. It has. Uh, I use case statements. I mean, I'm sorry, switch statements. With a lot of if statements in between, for the. For the to figure out the distance from the ultrasonic sensor, <clears throat> but it's a uh, very very simple. I just used a bunch of little codes to do like a sweep on a radar. As the time progresses, it gets wider and wider. Um, and then the, the dot is where the ob the object is found on the ult whatever on the radar. But as you like, if I bring this book closer in. The dot will be closer, closer. It takes a while to kind of see the dots in the first one. If I bring you farther away, it's on the second one. If I bring you even farther away, it's on the third one. Where and it doesn't read, but there it goes. And if I bring it in close, But yeah, it's a pretty cool little thing. Very simple to build, very easy. All you need is the Arduino. And I have a little... Uh, I forget what those things are called. But all you need is basically that. Or you can use uh, one of the nano ones, the small ones. And uh, this thing. I use the, the Max 7219 chip. Instead of wiring each wire individually into the Arduino. You can just use that to only requires what five wires, and then you plug them in the uh, positive, negative, and then a data to pin zero, the load to pin one, and then the clock to pin two. And for the ultrasonic sensor, um, you have positive, you have um, trigger and pin and pin six, and then echo pin and, and is pin seven. Trigger is a sending of a signal. And an echo is the signal that it receives back. And then, um, and these, uh, this, this matrix, 8 by 8 matrix, is a little weird with using this chip because it has a, well, the way the way the sprite, I mean, the matrix um, library goes is this is the x axis and the y axis just regular, but they're labeled differently. It's, uh, y axis starts with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so this is like row 0, row 1, row 2, and so forth. And for the x axis, this is a column 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but when it gets to 7, it doesn't go to 8, it goes back to 0. So this is a column 0, column 7, column 6, column 5, and so forth. So whenever you write your code uh, to whichever um, LED you want lit up, if you want, let, let's say you want to light this LED up, so you would write my matrix dot right you put your x coordinate and y coordinate and high so in this one so the x coordinate is a uh, zero so you put zero here and the y coordinate for this one is zero as well so you put zero here so that's how you would light this one up and let's say you want to light uh, this one up now so you'd say you would write I'm um, sorry you'd write my matrix you'd write my matrix 
and uh, if it's this LED, so it's uh, column 7, row 2, so you write 7 here, comma, 2, comma, and a state of the LED when it either be high or low, so you'd write high. Now, another neat little feature this library has is if you want to, um, is if you want to clear whole, all of the display, the whole matrix, you can write my matrix dot clear and it just open and close parentheses semicolon, and that will clear the whole matrix, make it blank. And uh, because if you don't clear it after each sweep, it will leave this one on, that one on, so just like a just fill up the matrix as it goes in. I guess if you want to, if you want to do that, that'd be cool too. But yeah, just uh, if you have any questions, any comments, leave, leave me messages, and then I'll email you the whole code, all of this code, and uh, two of the libraries if you don't have them already. I think the libraries came with uh, Arduino, or I got them off the internet. I did not make them. They're not. I take no credit for that. But I did make the code for that using those libraries. And you can speed up the sweep process on this. As it sweeps across, you can speed it up. Um, I have it set to, let's see, it's a 200 millisecond sweep. So one fifth of a second right here. So you can change it to like 100 and it would sweep twice as fast. So you go boom, 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 really fast. And yeah, and this code will work on uh, any Arduino. It doesn't have to be Leonardo. It doesn't have to be Nano. Nanos are just smaller and use up less uh, use up less space. But you could use whatever one. Oh yeah, these are called shields. I just remembered. So I have this little cool shield that you can just. I guess it saves space or whatnot. But yeah, um, I think that's it. And yeah, you just plug everything in. Pin 6, pin 7, and then pin 0, 1, 2, 3. And these are digital pins. I know there's some analog pins on this side. But everything's uh, hooked up to the digital. And that's it. And uh, it works. I have it set, this little radar. It's uh, up to, I think, uh, the code is for um, 80 centimeters. Which is like, I don't know, like 2.5 feet, almost 3 feet, give or take. But you can you can set the distance to whatever you want it to be. You can make it whatever. I know it's I think it's like the sensor is good for like two meters though. You're, you're limited to so much. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't read really well if it's too far away. But yeah, let's see that again. As I bring this closer, maybe this way. Yeah, it's not that super sensitive, but it works pretty good. I'm happy with it. And I made some other cool stuff. I'll be posting some videos later on. Thanks, guys.